Today, we are going to go over extreme examples where police officers get taught a tough lesson by everyday people. At number 5, two friends were out and about, filming in an area very close to the police station. Out of the blue, a cop pulls up and starts to give them a hard time about filming citizens. Um, nah, just the police station. Uh, any particular reason? Uh, just so I can view it later. Any specific reason? I mean, that... But both men knew the law and responded that it's completely legal for them to film. The officer then tried to educate the men, stating that the men and women released from jail don't want anyone recording them. Yeah, Obviously, we have uh, security concerns, and when you film in this area where we're releasing people who uh -huh. have been arrested, they have a, a right to privacy. No, they don't. People coming in and out of they jail? Don't. If I could see them from public, they don't. So you don't. How, how do you figure that? First Amendment, you need to brush up on it. Anything that I can see from public, I can tell. You can't, tr you can't trespass what I can see. So as long as I'm standing where I'm allowed to be, I can But one of the men tell him that their privacy is still theirs and they're allowed to record anyone as long as they are on state-owned public property as well as giving a reminder to the officer that thanks to James Madison, they have permission by the First Amendment to do such recording. You can see in the video, the officer then becomes confused as the men are correcting him on everything he said. Subsequently, he tries to change the subject and questions them on if their reason for filming was for personal matters. You guys are upsetting people, which is why I'm up here. Because I could care less if you guys are up here, but we somebody... Care, we can care less if we upset people too. Okay. Alright, well... If, if... Their feelings, are, their feelings are not our concern. Our rights aren't subjected to their no, feelings. Yeah, that's right. But still, the men did not want to answer, as by law, they are not required to do so. With no more verbal ammunition left, the officer then ridiculously starts to accuse the men of hurting people's feelings with their actions and angering civilians. The two men then quickly requested for the officer to give them his name and identification number, but he denied their requests, and with full confidence, the men tell the officer to leave them alone. So you antagonizing people doesn't concern you guys at all? What is that? Um, I don't understand you're how you... are antagonizing how, 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 Yeah, exactly. You? Okay. You're the only antagonizer here. But you're a public, right? Yeah. But you're on the clock, right? And you serve the, you serve me. Right, serve I'm doing public, what right? I'm doing. I'm asking you to leave me alone. I'm asking you to break contact. I don't, I don't wish to engage with you anymore. Okay. So you have a good day. You're dismissed. Can you state your name and badge number, please? No, you can see it. It's 315. Is that what field. you tell the judge? You guys can do whatever you'd like to do. And we already know. As well as to walk away, causing the officer to have second thoughts about the whole situation. Number 4. We have a driver randomly being stopped, as the officer asks for his driver's license and insurance card. The man then asks very bluntly, why in the world did you pull me over? The officer responds that he will soon tell him once he can identify his identity. What's the nature of the stop? As soon as I know who you are, we have to explain Is this Nazi Germany? Do I gotta provide papers before you tell me why? If I don't know who I'm talking to, in case you run off or free, I'd like to know who I'm talking to. So if you don't mind providing your identification, I'm going to go forward. Well, I would take the key out if I could, but I can't. Okay, no problem. You do realize in order to get ID from somebody, you have to have a reason and articulate that reason for the stop, right? I'm well aware of how it works. <clears throat> well, you do, you do realize I'm a constitutionalist, so I know this shit. Okay. So, unless you can you articulate... This is my property, yes. Property. Well, I don't live here, but this is my property. This is not where I'm staying, but I own this property. The man then puts the officer in his place, educating him that it is only justifiable to pull someone over if they have broken the law or committed such crimes, as this is not communism or evil Nazi Germany. He also tells the officer that you followed me for no justifiable reason at all, as he once again requests for the officer to tell him why he was pulled over. The officer replies that he made an exaggerated number of turns. I knew you were following me. I knew I used my turn signals. I knew I wasn't speeding. As soon as I seen you on the side of the road, I seen you hit your f***ing brake lights. I knew you were going to f*** me. I knew exactly what you were going to do. There's nothing wrong with my car. Every light on my car works. So what's the nature of the stop? Well, the nature of the stop is when you went by, it didn't look like there was a front bumper. And then as I was behind the car trying to run a registration, you took multiple turns and it appeared to be evading me. All I'm doing is checking out what's going on. <laughs> you better get your goddamn supervisor. When is it illegal to make turns? Because how ridiculous of a response that was. The man just loses it with laughter and asks for his superior in charge, as it's in no way against the law to make too many turns. 
Dude, we both know where this is going, and you know you have no reason to pull me over. All you need in Michigan is reasonable suspicion to make a traffic stop. Yes, you have to have RAS. But what is your single articulable suspicion? Uh, I heard you were trying to avoid this stop. Bull it looked like you had a bumper on the front of the car when you went by. Dude, I'm not giving ID. Because I didn't do nothing wrong. Okay. Is this your car? It's in my dad's name, yes. It's in your dad's name? Yep. <laughs> Dude, this is gonna make an awesome YouTube video. You just admitted that I committed no crime or no traffic infraction. When the f is it illegal to make turns? Well, there is a bumper on my car. The officer was just given a masterclass by the man, and after being embarrassed, he just walks away, letting the man go. Just leave me alone. I'm not doing nothing. Right? Okay, you have a good night. At number three, this man was patiently waiting for his wife to get off work when all of a sudden, police officer Pino approaches him, asking for his identification. I'm lost, man. Make sure you guys are doing okay. Yeah, we're doing good. Yeah. Okay, now what's your name? Uh, for what? I'm just contacting you. I just have to... The man asks why, and the officer states that just recently, a new law came into play requiring everyone that he see to give a demographics identification, even if the person does not agree. So you have to. A, so there's a law that just came out okay to where anybody i contact even if it's consensual i have to get your demographics that i can really that i contacted you yet the driver shocked at this ridiculous request then replies that this is not a stop and frisk state but the officer kept persisting recognizing that this man was actually very clever and wouldn't back down that's not the law yes it is yep. with senate bills 217 no this is not a this is not a stop and id state Okay, so I have to say that I did contact you. Okay, good. You, you say that. Okay. And also, when I run the plate, okay. it's coming back with a warrant hit. Mm, okay. So I just want to make sure that you're not the person. And I'll, nope, I'm not the person. So can I get your name? No. And why not? Well, this is first you said that you have to ID me. No, you don't. Yes, I do. This is not a stop and ID state. Says who? Um, what do you mean says who? It's a law. It's a law, so sir. The law states now that... I, anybody I contact, okay. I need to get an ID so I can say that I contacted you. No, I don't think so. That's yes, not the is. law. This is private property, sir. It is not. It's a public parking lot. No, this is private property. It is a public parking lot. I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm sorry. With no other choice, the officer changes the subject and then states that you are breaking the law by parking in a non-public parking space. The man stated that he is making a mistake and this parking lot is actually public and he is free to park there. You're scaring, you're scaring my kids. There's, there's, there's no point of this. You know, this is this okay, is well, ridiculous. Wouldn't have to scare if you were cooperative. Well, no, no, no. It, it, this, that's not. That's totally. That's that's just ridiculous, man. That's just ridiculous. I'm sorry, man. After about ten minutes, the man tells the officer that his actions are frightening his children, and seeing that this is not a force to be messed with, the officer just peacefully walks away and actually tells the man to have a good day. And lastly, this is police officer Peterson. He quickly advances towards a man, asking him if he was the person recording in the lobby. Were you the one in the lobby? I don't Which answer part? any questions. Okay, you get to answer a couple. I don't need to answer. When the individual replies that he is not going to respond to his question, the cop pushes back, persisting with more interrogations. The gentleman then gets agitated, requesting for the cop to give his name and identification numbers. Uh, can I get your name and badge number? Well, you can see it's Peterson, right? Yes. Your badge number? 210. 210. How about your ID? Am I being detained? Yeah, for a minute. For what, what crime? Well, for filming in the field of the trying to figure out what's going on. Is that illegal? Well, we're trying to figure out what's going on. Nonetheless, the man doesn't comply with the cop's demands, as he states he didn't break the law in any way. When the officer would not stop asking questions, he asked the officer, Sir, am I being detained? So what are you detaining me for? Well, that's what we're trying to figure out, man. Well, you can't detain somebody just till you figure it out. Yeah, actually, we can. That's not how that works, officer. Okay. That's your Can I get your supervisor? Can I get your supervisor out here? I'm asking to talk to your supervisor. And I'm telling you, you can call the police department and ask for him. Okay. You can't I'm call your no, I'm supervisor out here? Look, right here, boss. But, so there's nobody above you? Yeah, there sure is. So you're, you're a sergeant? So you're a sergeant and you're... Okay, so. The officer replies that he was being arrested, but as he questions what is the reason, the dumbfounded officer replies, I still don't know yet. At this point, the man tries to cleverly educate the officer on what the correct laws are by stating that this is not legally correct, and in order to be detained, one has to clearly break the law. 
The man then asks the officer to speak to his superior, and slowly, the officer starts to stumble upon his words and stutter. It's at this point the man realizes he is in fact speaking with the sergeant. The individual was firm in his decision to deny any questions being asked, and at that point, the sergeant became fed up with his attitude, being forced to walk away and let him free. If you liked this video and want to see more awesome videos just like this, please subscribe and tune in every week for thrilling videos.